I want those subscribers found. My lord. It's impossible to locate the subs. They are out of our range. Not for the Sith. This is my apprentice, Darth Maul. He will find your lost subs. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. We should not have made this bargain. A time for celebration. Despite the number of beloved franchises damaged in the name of corporate greed, a small corner of YouTube has been gaining support. The working jellyfish has been working brainlessly to make sense of the growing culture war. Today he celebrates a significant milestone that means the world to him. G'day guys. Being perfectly candid, thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed to the channel so far. I'm relatively new to the platform, and when you're just starting out, YouTube can seem like a massive ocean, and getting that initial momentum can seem like an insurmountable task. So for everyone who's shown their support, whether it's liking, sharing, or commenting, it makes that grind all the more worthwhile. So again, thank you, you're bloody legends. You saw doing grand. <laughs> it's refreshing to know that there are people out there who are like-minded. I don't know whether that's an indictment on you because I'm a brainless lump, but anyway. I thought I'd take an opportunity to say what's up next for the channel and forecast what you can expect in the coming weeks and months. First crab off the bank, I've got a couple of long-form contents that I'm working on. One of which is 343's narrative take on Halo, and the other is The Lord of the Rings slash The Rings of Power. I know there's a few of you who desperately want to get my take on The Rings of Power, but it is such a big thing to tackle. Holy crap, it is, it's next level bad. I, I can't even begin to describe it. Some called him a fool for believing it would grow in such darkness. Where there is love, it is never truly dark. I can't really give an ETA on when those two things will be finished because there's a lot of research that I have to do that goes into producing long form content. And unfortunately, they're the first victim when new fronts open up in the war to save pop culture. As per the winter contingency, we are countering on every front. Speaking of, the next review in the pipeline is going to be Andor. It seems a lot of people really enjoyed my take on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and all the drama that came with it. And given that I'm a jellyfish and have a tendency to drift in whatever direction the waters are taking me, I feel it's best to steer into that. I'll do my best to go in with an open mind. It certainly looks like the best looking Star Wars series we've had thus far, but they've burned me so many times at this point, it's hard to be optimistic. Also, if you guys are interested, I am planning on doing a series of videos called Working Jellyfish's Salvage where I take a look at TV shows or movies that didn't quite hit the mark, then break down why I think that was the case, and then offer some suggestions about how that project could be salvaged. I briefly touched on it with the book of Boba Fett, and I really enjoyed the process, because it scratches that creative writing itch that I have. Obviously, I can't just do a full rewrite of all the projects that have gone balls up, because then that dives deep into fanfiction. And while I enjoy fanfiction, I know it's not for everybody. This used to be because fanfiction would fluctuate in its level of quality. Some would be really good, some would be really bad. The funny thing about that is that's pretty much what we get with modern entertainment with big companies now as well. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. I'll also keep throwing my two cents in anytime something significant pops up in the world of entertainment, because oftentimes the drama surrounding a TV show or film is more exciting than the product itself. I will, of course, endeavour to be a bit more consistent with my uploads, guys, so you're not waiting a month between videos, but I can't make any promises on that front because my producer is a busy lad, and unfortunately his job in the real world often pull him away from the sheltered harbour. It would be, of course, the dream to do this full time and not have to worry about any of that external stuff. But let's be realistic here, guys. 200 subs is a bit of a far cry away from some of those big fish that are out there. And instead of 100 subs, we hit 100 million subs. We did it! And to be honest, I'm quite content to drift around my sheltered harbour. For the moment. Sprinkling a little bit of salty criticism on things and having a good laugh with you guys while I'm about it. As I said before, thank you very much to everyone who subscribed to the channel, you bloody legends. And you are always welcome to share your thoughts in the comments. There's only a couple of standing rules in the sheltered harbour, and they should go without saying, but one of them is don't be a dickhead. The other is, if you're going to preach, you need an evangelical permit. There's only so many times I can ask you if you've got a permit before I go full renegade on you. But remember, I'm just a brainless lump 
who's eternally grateful to everyone who's subscribed to the channel and is slowly building my fleet of subs. And when I have that fleet, I will reshape the world. <laughs> All right.